We're on holiday in Malta and of course I had to make one of these food videos. Malta has a huge influence from different cultures, from North African culture, Mediterranean culture and Italian culture. So I think the food must be really interesting and different from what I've tried before. So I'm really excited about it and let's go. After sightseeing through Valletta, we stopped for lunch. To start, I ordered the kini, which is a Maltese soft drink. It's like sparkly, bitter orange. It's good and refreshing. They brought us bread to the table, which in Malta we were never charged for, by the way. And I think that's amazing, seeing that I live in Western Europe and I'm used to being charged for everything, even if I haven't ordered it. Dan wanted to try the traditional rabbit stew, but this restaurant didn't have the stew, so he went for the pan-fried rabbit, which came with some roasted potatoes on the side. And I ordered the traditional fish soup, which came with a pastry lid. Stab it. Mm -hmm. Let's get some ASMR. Some fish soup ASMR. <laughs> no bit of the of pastry. so hot on this day we didn't get dessert and instead moved on to visit Medina, a fortified city which used to be Malta's capital in the medieval age. If you're a fan of Game of Thrones, they also filmed here some of the scenes. Now we're going to what supposedly is the place to get the best pastries in Malta, or at least that's what I read. <laughs> okay, so we got the pastizi. Oh, sorry. Flashing everywhere. I didn't film inside. It's not a fancy place. It's not anything special, but they did have them pulled right out of the oven for us, so they are warm and nice. And we're going to try them. So I ordered a Picotta pastizi and the mushy peas pastizi. How? It's really hot. Um, so I'm going to try one. It's warm. It's crunchy. The soft picotta inside. It's nice. Pastizi ASMR. And then we have the other one, which is mushy peas. It's also nice if you've ever had mushy peas. Tastes exactly like that, but in a nice warm dish. And the best part is, each of them cost 50 cents. And also, great tip, I bought a bottle of water. If you ever come to Malta, buy bottles of water, because the water in Malta from the tap tastes like chlorine. That's it. Now we're going back to Valletta, and tonight we're going for dinner. Not sure where. Not sure what, we'll just go with the flow. <laughs> For dinner we found a restaurant close to our hotel and off we went. They started bringing starters to the table and we didn't stop them. 
We had bread and butter and Maltese tomato paste, which is different from ketchup. Then they brought a dish with crackers, Maltese bean paste, sun-dried tomatoes and olives. By the way, we were also not charged for these entrees, which is amazing. To drink, I had a kidney again and then ordered the Maltese beer, Chisk. Dan's choice of dish was beef olives, a Maltese dish which has nothing to do with olives actually. It's beef rolled around a boiled egg with stuffing and stewed with tomato and spices. Almost like a fancy dub scotch egg. You can see the British influence here for sure. Myself, like the proper Portuguese girl I am, went for the octopus stew. The vegans might want to skip ahead, but I love octopus and this was cooked perfectly. Then the staff brought us dessert. We didn't choose it, they just brought us a dish with a few Maltese sweets and we were also not charged for this, which is beyond amazing. As you can see, the Maltese really take care of you. It's pink. Oh. It's pink ice cream. And this is also pink. It's warm. Mm. Yeah. Nice not sure it's pink. Maybe it is? It's warm. It's nice with the ice cream. Oh wait! That's not ice cream. That's no gun. No gun. Mm-hmm. As this was a short video, I have to include the bonus round for a couple of other foods that we tried. From my last video, you saw me eat a ftira, which is the typical Maltese sandwich. This is what we ate most days because it's huge, it's cheap, and it's convenient. Then, all over Malta, you will not miss places selling pizza and pasta, clearly influenced by the Italian culture, and we did get a pizza a couple of times as well. I hope you like these videos, I love making them, but it will be a few months now until I make one of these again, so if you're into travel, do follow my Instagram because that's where I share my travel bug stories more often. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!